Hello, this is Steve from Beto's Leatherworks. Today's project is this really cool shot perfecto jacket. Now, there's nothing really wrong with the exterior of the jacket. It's very, very well loved and very broken and nice patina to it. The customer had requested us to lengthen the sleeves about inch and three quarters. So basically that's what we're gonna to do today. We're going to take the sleeve apart, we're gonna add a little bit of leather and try to blend that into the style and uh, make it look like it was never done. All right, let's get started. All right, so most of the time when it comes to sleeves, we just tend to add a small cuff to the end and just extend that from there. But with this one, we're gonna do something different here. See this panel right there? That panel is basically gonna be coming apart and move down about inch and three quarters. And then we're gonna add our extension right there now the only cuff we're going to add is to this back piece right here so this way this part of the sleeves when it, sleeve when it gets moved down we don't have to mess with anything here we could add an extension right here on the edges and put a new vent piece a new zipper i think just it just makes the sleeve look a little bit not uniform with a longer zipper like that so the way i'm thinking about it should make some sense and Make it work out. All right. First things first, take the lining apart. Well, the sleeve lining, anyway. Now I've cut my I've cut my thumb a week ago. On my other videos, I've got them bandaged up. There's a couple of videos on Q, by the way. One um, one is Crockett and Jones boots resizing. And the other one is floor shine. Basically, I explain what happened to my thumb, but it's getting there. I know it's not, oh, this is just red paint there. Don't worry about that. I took a chunk out of it. Unfortunately, I, I put it in a, a machine when it was running and, and like an idiot. Anyway, so it's healing pretty well. It's It's been a week. I mean, I'm so shocked that it's, it's healed so well this fast. You don't know how much how how often you need your thumb once once you don't have it you're like man you know it's still a little sensitive i should wrap it up but i just took the bandage off to let it breathe a little bit all right so the center seam right here which is the inside part of the seam basically we just take that apart there and the seam just flattens out There you go. Get rid of the lining. Now we have access to the whole sleeve and we can do whatever we want with it. All right, let's continue. Anytime you take apart a seam, oh, you gotta come in and clean the threads off of them. This is a piece of plantation crepe that we use. It works pretty good to remove the stitches. Now the shop is, is is a little bit upside down right now. There's like a tornado is coming through. I'm getting a little overwhelmed again with work. We're pretty busy, we're always busy. I just have lots of projects I gotta get to and, and I haven't forgotten about you guys. The ones who have items with me, believe me, I haven't forgotten about you. I, I sleep thinking about getting your items done so hang in there i'll get to it i will i promise may take me a little longer but i promise i'll get to you and i'll let you know when your items are done one bag one jacket one pair at a time we'll get it done all right so this is the panel right there we're going to add our approximately an inch and three quarters right there and then we're going to continue assembling it back together. Now it's really tough with uh, with jackets, um, mail order work with you know jackets sending to get done. Obviously, a customer is not here to get fitted. So when, whenever something comes in that needs to be fitted, I, I kind of reject it or I tell them not to send it because what happens is that okay, you send me your jacket, say Steve, I want my sleeves to be so long. 
Okay, no problem. We'll go by your direction. And if that direction is wrong and it doesn't fit, then I'm responsible for it. So it's kind of tough to do certain jobs through the mail and stand behind it. Okay. This particular one, the customer said he wants to extend it an inch and three quarters, which is pretty basic. You know, it's not, it's not a bad, it's not a, it's not, not, not that it can't go wrong, you know, not, not with the job, but with the directions, you know. So, and I let him know, I said, you know, you sure you're positive 100%. Once it's done, it's done. If it's wrong, you know, it's up to you because I'm following your lead. So, so this one wasn't too bad. But as far as getting something fitted to make it fit you better, downsizing, you know, those kinds of those kinds of projects, it's, it's always like 50-50 crapshoot because if you give me the wrong direction and I'm following it, well, there's not much I can do, you know, unfortunately, your directions. So there are some jobs I tend to say no to for those reasons. I just, I, I don't want to make somebody unhappy. You know, the reason we spend the time and you spend the money, we want you to be able to wear it and use it as long as you can. And not to, not to feel bad about it when you, when you do want to wear it or, or use your item. All right, we're getting there. This is, this is just a tedious pro, you know, the part of the project where you have to clean the thread, man. There's, and there's lots of threads. You know, there's lots of threads that come off these jackets. <clears throat> but if you don't, it's going to look crappy. It's going to look, it's going to fray. The old stitches are not going to look good. It's just, might as well put the time and do right and then not, not worry about, you know, not worry about later. All right, now there, there's lots of ways of stitching uh, jackets together, uh, doing seams, for example, right? Uh, this particular one is stitched first and then fold it over and do a top stitch on there so what happens is that here at the at the joint you've got one two three layers on top of each other and then when this comes in that's another two layers that's five layers that's going to be pretty it's going to be pretty bulky at that spot so what i do here at the end Cut a little bit like that and just fold this end over Put a little glue there now that transition is a little bit less of a hump there now even though there's still four layers better than five one so there's one two three four when it's folded over that's just one way of, of of doing it it's not the right or wrong way it's just the way on the seams where they all connect together so it won't be so bulky now we'll we'll go ahead and put a top stitch on that right there all right let's continue oh also what the customer had requested see how the back is kind of curled up just curling up like that, he says. So I take that back apart. force the back with another piece of leather so that can stay flat.
This is a piece of um, this is just a piece of metal here, tubular metal, and I've sanded the surface smooth. So I use this for my hammer when I'm at the machine. I want to hammer a certain piece of leather down, flatten it down. It's pretty heavy. All right, so the inseam right here got stitched and glued and flattened down. Now let's take a look what it looks like. basic sleeve that's the piece that we put in and that's the cuff in the back now that'll get folded over now once we're done with everything we're gonna take uh, let's see we're gonna take some sandpaper and kind of rough those areas out the new leather because we don't want that new piece to look we don't want it to look new. We don't want it to look worn out. What better way to speed that process than some sandpaper? So it'll look a little better once it gets done. Not too bad. Okay, so we still have to kind of rough these up a little bit to make them look old. The piece we added is in the back right there. So it's out of sight, out of mind. All right, that's not bad. Now we can go ahead and close the back and we'll be done with this job. Man, it looks good on me. It'll be a little bit thinner. Maybe my younger years, but not now. All right, All right let's continue. <laughs> All right, welcome back. We are done with another project. Now this was a three hundred and seventy dollar job. It took me a couple of hours to get done. It wasn't too bad. Now this looks like a little longer than an inch and three quarters because I had to remove some of the original sleeve there so i made that up so visually when you look at it it's a little bit it looks a little bit more than one and three quarters that's the reason but the extend the extend the length is one and three quarters longer it didn't turn out too bad i mean it's all right you know you just got to kind of wear it and rough it up and and make it look like it was it's worn out that's all because it's a new leather it's going to be different leather than what you got originally but you'll try to blend in as best as possible 
All right. Well, thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it. If you have any questions, please email me, bedos at yahoo.com. And I'll do my best to answer those questions for you. And um, if you haven't subscribed, do so, please. And thumbs up, comments, good, bad, ugly, doesn't matter. I'll take it all. All right. We'll see you guys again on the next project. Take care.